Hello everybody, it's uh, Simon Anderson. I'm here with uh, Daniel Maxwell. Daniel has been uh, charged with obstructing police uh, at a, at a pro-Palestine demonstration. Uh, g'day Daniel, tell us, tell us uh, what it's all about. Hi, yeah, well I'm here at court today uh, defending that charge from obstructing the police. You know, what actually happened, they asked me to take my flag down and go home at a Palestinian protest. My flag was the Israel New Zealand flag. And um, I did that, I returned home, dropped my flag off and went back down. And when I went back down, they decided to arrest me. Again, because that was the second time they've arrested me and thrown me in the cells for being at a Palestinian rally with the Israel flag, representing Israel. So you've been arrested several times demonstrating uh, at these pro-Palestine, uh, uh, rather counter-demonstrating at these pro-Palestine demonstrations. How many times have you been arrested? Uh, twice. Twice. But Three, the... but they used, they dug up some old stuff to try and, um, you know, bring that into light. And then two more after that were solely just standing for Israel and being there. Okay. Um, so it's it sounds a little bit like police overreach that uh, they've just decided that they don't want counter demonstrators. Yeah. Yeah. When you compare how uh, counter demonstrators, for instance, at Albert Park with the Rainbow Community, or the uh, the uh, pro Palestine demonstrators that have been showing up to counter demonstrate against. Uh, Brian Tamaki and Destiny Church. Mm. Do you think that the police have been even-handed? Uh, no, you know, they've been very biased, especially that day when they um, they didn't choose to protect, um, was it Rosie Parker, was that her name? You know, and she was um, violated pretty much that day and the police didn't, didn't protect her at all and it really showed what sort of state uh, this country's in, you know. But thank God that Labour, Labour government pains are all, all over. We have a new government now that seems to be a bit more uh, on the right side of justice and on the right side of heaven at this stage. It still remains to be seen, but at the moment they're heading in the right track. And so I think, you know, with these ones, the police just were intimidated because of the thousands of people gathering for Palestinian that having just one person there with an Israel flag could promote, you know, could upset them or promote violence or whatever, you know. But I mean, like someone said, they're calling for the annihilation of the Jews. They're marching down Queen Street saying from the river to the sea, Palestine shall be free, calling for the genocide of the Jewish nation. And so it doesn't get any more violent than that, verbally. I've, I've uh, caught you on camera at uh, several of the demonstrations <laughs> and you're, you're a man of faith. And I've, I've heard you expressing a uh, 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 pro-Christian uh, point of view, which is fairly critical of Islam. I've heard you express political opinion in support of Israel and, and against the, the Palestinian cause. Uh, but I've never heard you be in any way abusive or threatening or anything like that. From my perspective and, and the footage that I've shot of you, you're, you're reasonable and um, not insightful at all. Would you, would you agree that that is true? Oh, totally agree, you know. I took swearing away from my lips a long time ago and I hope, hope that never comes back. hope that never comes back. We've got some freedom uh, people over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, definitely. I'm not there to abuse anyone, put anyone down. I, I always show love. I have only love for all, the, all of the people regardless of what they believe or their culture or race. It's just what they stand for is incorrect. Are you at all grateful to the police? And I ask this because uh, I've, I've I've seen a number of times that uh, particularly the, the, the Muslim youth have objected to the things that you are saying and it has been the police that have insulated you uh, from some attention that I believe would be, would, could, lend, could uh, end up in, in physical confrontation. Yeah, yeah, I definitely am. You know, since the time I was arrested and they arrested Lucy, the criminal lawyer, they realised they made a big mistake. And from there, they have been more, well, they've been allowing us to stand now and to stand for Israel. And hey, let's face it, we're actually standing for what's right. We're standing for what's right, no doubt about it. And so, yeah, of course, I'm grateful for all the police officers. A lot of them always shake my hand and come up and congratulate me. And they're thankful that I'm there. It's just been the one or two above them that have been giving the orders, you know, back then to now arrest them, get them out of the way. That'll cause trouble. But now they don't. Now they're protecting us. They're letting us stand. You know, 
and they've moved on, they've moved on pretty much. Yeah, but, but overall, of course, I'm grateful to all the New Zealand police, they do a great job. That's fantastic. All right, well, Daniel, thank you very much for taking the time. Before we finish, is there anything else that you'd like to say while I have you on camera? Uh, no, just that uh, I thank you for coming down here and for doing the work that you're doing down there at the Palestinian process because, you know, it just just helps having that, those people there that are standing for what's right in the face of the hate and the, the heart of the enemy, so to speak, you know. What happened in uh, Israel on October the 7th it's just uh, the atrocities that were committed, the murder, the raping, the beheading, the burning of innocent children and people it needs to be remembered, you know, and they've seemed to be pushed that away and the hostages need to be returned. That's what I believe. And I'll finish with that right there. Free the hostages. All right. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you for taking the time. Good luck.